So, there is a little bit of work that still needs to be done on the lighthouse house. Um, I made a few mistakes in building it uh, the other day, and the first of which, I think, is, if, if you'll notice, you can look around, this side and this side are different. They are not symmetrical, which I realized in the post-editing process. So I want to, want to sort of take a few minutes here and fix this up. Let me count this uh, for a second. That's one, two, three, and this side is just one, two. Yeah, so I messed that up. Uh, so we'll bring it back right here. Yeah, get all these guys out of the way, and then right... Um, connect it... No, connect it one further back than that. There we go. Now it is symmetrical, and I think I need... I don't know how many dirt on me do I know. So, that's fine. It's not a problem. We can just grab more dirt and then throw it down right there. I think four pieces should be sufficient. Ah, uh, there it is. Four pieces of dirt, and throw that down right... So, that's right, uh, roses are not tall grass, you cannot place dirt on them. Um, I only need a few more pieces, because I, I counted wrong. And of course, seeds always get in your way when you're trying to get dirt. There we go, and drop these down like that. Perfect. So now I think this outside of the house is mostly symmetrical. There's these dirt blocks right there, um, that will turn to grass eventually, and I think that will start looking pretty good. So I just want to rose up the outside, and I think now... Look at that, it's gorgeous. Uh, I do want to change the door though, because I have in mind something, and it'll look better, I think, anyway, because most of this house and the lighthouse are white. And we want to make it pressure plate from the outside with wood that blends in right there, and from the inside a button, so that nothing can get out if we don't want it to. And we're gonna be changing this up. <laughs> I know I spent some time trying to, you know, be really precise about how I wanted this, but I'm mixing up the whole thing anyway. This door's gotta go, and I don't think I have any trap doors on me? No, I don't. Even though I have like a thousand of them back at the house, I don't feel like running back there, so we can always make two more right here, and then go back to our original design, like that. And now we're gonna be taking this block of iron and this pumpkin. You can probably guess what we're doing with it. And we're going to be making ourselves a little helper inside the lighthouse house. Dang it. Um, right there. And poof. I mean, poof. There we go. Oh, God. Get, get. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, Mr. Mister Iron Golem. So, so we got this awesome little helper here inside our lighthouse house. And because there's no doors or anything going up here, he can, he can go up these staircases just like we can. And as long as we... Uh, keep an eye on where the actual entrances and exits are and keep them well managed We can have this guy wander inside this lighthouse completely free We just need to change up here a little bit change this to a pressure plate instead of a button Like so and now from a distance Maybe we can see him wandering around on top of the lighthouse while we're in the farm uh, Totally up to him. He could also be inside the farmhouse house or he could be up there So I think that is a really cool little dynamic to have what just seems like another another person, another helper in our otherwise boring world. The only players we have so it's sort of like Castaway. I just sort of talk to inanimate objects and animals. But let's, let's move your bed here. But now we have this actual living thing here. Since we don't have a, any villages anywhere near this place. And I said I'd put glass up here, didn't I? Yes. I sort of made it a point. Well, stop staring at me. It's weird. I made it a point to put all the stuff in my inventory that I wanted to do so I wouldn't have to make a thousand trips back to the house. And that's why I had stuff on me like the necessary pressure plates and stones and iron door. Stop staring at me. It's weird. You good? You want to go back behind your counter? There you go, buddy. And you need a name, don't you? Uh, we still need to name that guy, but I don't really have the rights to do that anymore. I don't think. It's, it's up to the fans to decide what our lighthouse iron golem will be named. And, uh, so we should probably throw some torches inside here, shouldn't we? Because we don't want monsters spawning on our helper. It's kind of hard to find a good spot. How about just the outsides of those windows, I think, should be good. Not terribly symmetrical, but it doesn't have to be. It's just sort of one thing I generally like to go for. Um, and I also, oh yes, I brought, well, I, I guess I can save that for a minute. Um, now I'm thinking about it, I don't know if this is going to be... 
too narrow for him to fit through. I'll, I'll worry about that later. Um, I said I wanted to... God, that is that's pretty. That is a nice looking lighthouse. I am really excited with how that turned out. Um, but there's still some work that needs to be done. Um, and that is... What was, what was I saying here? Oh, yes. I, I wanted to mention the, the light on top of the lighthouse. Um, it causes lag. Ever since 1.2.3, I think. Um, whenever you have, like, some something that's dynamically updating the lighting, such as a redstone timer, it causes an actual tremendous amount of uh, frames per second drop. And I that, that's why it's off right now. It locked up, and I decided not to restart it, because if I did, it's going to cause FPS problems if I'm anywhere, even on the island. So we're going to leave it off, except in times of, you know, cinematic shots and stuff like that. But... I do need to fix some of the outside here, pretty some of this up, uh, replace that with brick. I think that looks better than being a square, because we did away with the whole square brick base thing a while ago, but I need to, need to grab some dirt here to fill in that bottom piece. And I'm going to be doing this around all four sides, make sure to replace that torch, there we go, and then right here, yes, right there, uh, that'll look good, maybe add one more piece of dirt. And then, yeah, do the same thing around all of the sides here. Um, it's weird that there's brick down here, but I think on the other side there's not brick down there. It's already dirt, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right, because I made the entrance area out of brick. I'd forgotten about that. What? Is it, shouldn't it be brick? Ah, God, I just didn't do this very, very well planned ahead. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Need to grab a few more pieces of dirt here. No, just, yeah. And put that, oh, I guess just one. Yeah, just one piece of dirt. And then, this needs torches, doesn't it? It does need, well, let's go right next to the window, just like the inside. Uh, and then on the other side of the house, there we go. Um, so I think our lighthouse house is, oh, no, it's not done. We need to think about what we want to do back here. Um, hmm, how's that going to look with the rest of this? Uh, I guess we could expand the roof out more. I don't have any cobblestone stairs on me, so I can't do that. And then make the back wall out of something else. What is normally on the side of a house? Um, it's usually pretty bland, isn't it? They have generally windows everywhere, but we don't have a window for this side. So I would say chimney, but we've already got our chimney. God, that's a good-looking lighthouse. <laughs> Trying to, trying to get a view of, maybe we can move that chimney back. I don't think we can. Um, since I don't have stairs on me, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I do want to take these signs. What's up, buddy? Wanna, can, yeah, you can't fit. Are you, is it that you're too tall or you're too fat? No, you're going to walk away when I'm talking to you? Really? You're going to play me like that? That is, that's not cool, bro, Hane. Okay, good. No, he's, he's walking back. He heard me talking. Uh, let's see if we can get you to fit through that door right there. Right there, no, don't jump, no, don't you jump on your bed. You will break that thing. You're already large enough as it is. Uh, yeah, I don't think he can fit through here. Um, is he gonna be able to even go up the stairs? I don't know, that kinda sucks. Because these are, these are, um, one and a half, right? Right, one and a half wide. So, if he's one and a half or less, he will be able to go up there, otherwise he won't. And I'm not about to redo the whole stairs. So, I think he will probably be stuck inside this house, so that sucks. But, signs. I want to give a shout out to some of the people that helped make this lighthouse as beautiful as it was. The first one is Culpsternator. Not the first one, but one of them was Culpsternator, who made the suggestion yesterday to do the bushes and the creeper carpet, I think. I believe that was him. And the other suggestion was Mr. Z McFeet, which is fun to say. But he was the guy who had the idea for the using the cauldron as the, the chimney, the thing, whatever you call it, I forget what it's called. The, the pot, yeah, the pot chimney. Um, and there are a couple more people I want to just give some credit to. Craigslist, one of the admins on my server, and GreyDev623, uh, also known as Gary, but I don't really know which name he prefers. Uh, both of them had an influence on the redstone timer portion of the lighthouse. We, we tested and played with that a little bit. So, uh, this is sort of like the little credits portion of all the people that helped make this lighthouse as sexy as it is. Um, so I think now it's time to shift gears a little bit and worry about our sugarcane farm 2.0. I'm just sort of scouting places to put it right now. We don't want to impede the view of 
the our, our lighthouse tower from the rest of the farm. So I think where I'm walking right now is going to be sort of like a main road, like from... Um, I guess right here, because this is going to be a building at some point. It's just sort of a massive cobble right now, but when we decide to make it look pretty, this is going to be the drop point for the sugar cane, so that, you know, we, we can, when we press the lever, we can have a button right there for the sugar cane, so when we get our wool, all the sheep will happen, and when we press the button, all the sugar cane will happen, and normally I like doing things fully automatic, uh, look at all those pistons. But when you couple it with something that's not fully automatic, you food break. Nom, 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 nom. You are pretty much saving just as much time anyway, because there's no way to make the sheep farm fully automatic, because you have to shear them, right? So as long as you're doing that, you can just press the button and also get the sugar cane. Um, yeah, I'm just sort of thinking. I'm still considering where I want the button to actually be, because I think that, well. We need to figure out a lot of where we want this thing to be, actually. How much, how much dirt on me right now? I need to grab some of that. Um, so if it's off to this side, there's not really much room to build it. Um, that is a good-looking lighthouse. Uh, it's, if it's So it, the center that I'm walking right now is going to be a road. And this... I guess the main road can go straight through the sheep farm right here. We just need to figure out... I actually, I just got an idea. I wanna, I wanna test something out real quick. Well, I guess not test, not the right word, but try. I wanna grab some of my six thousand trapdoors that I have here, and see if we can make some kind of a good-looking bridge. Cause you can place it right there, right there. Yeah, cause that'll be straight line, and you can't, can't place them sideways. No. So right there and right there, and then now we have this way of walking, sort of like a bridge. Let's, let's do two more right here also, so that they can also be retracted if necessary. I don't think we'll ever need to do that, though. Um, but we can't uh, we can't bring this up one at all, can we? No, it can't be flush with the ground. Unless we could do... If you can place them on stairs, which I don't think you can, but I'm still curious enough to test it. Stone stairs, throw this down, and no, I'm clicking right now, so you can't place trapdoors on stairs. So that kind of defeats the purpose of having one smooth bridge with trapdoors, so that's that's not going to work. Um, unless you can use, no, I don't think you can use half slabs. Yeah, I'm pretty much sure this isn't going to work. God, these things take so long to break down. Uh, run back and grab my axe real quick, because there's no reason to sit there for like 30 seconds per trapdoor. Not that long, but it just seems like a long time. Oh, I'll get my broken one. It just seems like a long time when you're just sitting there punching and not talking and not doing anything productive. So tear you guys down and then figure out how we actually want to do this main road through the farm. I think I got all of them. Whatever. We, we got way too many trapdoors anyway, and I still don't have dirt. That sucks. That, whoa. Sort of flooding myself here. Eh. Eh, there we go. Okay. So, that's all taken care of. There's lots of spiders around here. Lots of spiders screaming. Must be Wiggles angry at me. It's been a long time since Wiggles has been in this cage. Uh, poor zombie Wiggles hasn't hanging out with Professor Kluckenstein or the Porkinator or Wooly in ages. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna take this opportunity to clean out my inventory. Hey there, Creeper. You wanna die to my fists? Aw, oh, zombie Wiggles! He was so excited to get in his pen, he just jumped all the way down and didn't bother climbing. Oh well, we'll see him again. He will rise again. This gunpowder, and I've got this ton of dirt on me, as you can see, because I want to figure out where we're going to be putting our sugarcane farm at. I'm going to be sort of building the... why don't we actually put some, some dirt right here. There we go, and that'll be our bridge. Oh, I'm not going to pick you up, trapdoor. Sheeps! Um... What was I saying? Yes, yeah, so just build a simple road back here, and then we're going to be sort of building the skeletal structure of the sugarcane farm. And this is going to be an entrance to the house, I guess. Um, yeah, so the first order of business is figure out where it's going to be lined up at, because there's going to be two outputs. There's going to be the redstone line output on that side. Um, that'll go back in that direction, and then that side's gonna have the water outline. Hmm. It's easier when we're the sheep farm with the work underground, but we're gonna be doing this above ground. 
because we want the water to be able to flow down easily. So the button's going to be there. Uh, it's sugar cane's going to drop right there. So we just need to figure out where exactly we want it to drop from. So let's let's build straight up right here. Throw away this extra dirt as we go. Um, this. So do we want that level or I think one higher? Um, because we still want to build a roof to this building at some point. So I think if we... That's going to be... We bring all the items right there and then we drop a sugar cane right, right there. So... Start pulling this back right here, because one level below this is going to be the roof, I believe. So if we go back in this direction, let's sort of set up the walls of our water channel here. Go back in this direction. It's going to really impede the view of the farm from the lighthouse, isn't it? Um, we can make this come from the redstone side. Yeah. So instead of uh, doing the water channel from this side, break all this down before it starts looking too ugly. Um, let's have, this is where it drops, so instead, that can be the center, and it'll come from the, whatever direction that is, north or south. I know it's not east or west, but, uh, because this sun stuff going that direction. Okay, so we, now we pull this back by eight, I think? So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then do the sides here, make sure to destroy these ones down here before I forget and leave them. Make it look ugly, and I don't even know if this is going to be made of dirt in the long run. I might even consider making this out of glass. And we're going to be testing this real quick. Yep, that looks good. Um, it's just always want to be anal about that, and it drops exactly where the the wool ends up, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's the exact same block. Pick my water back up here, and now go in this direction, sort of turn with it, and I guess, uh, yeah, that's that's good for now. We're we're just sort of getting an idea for it at the moment before we replace all this with something uh, and actually start worrying about how, how good it looks, but I'm just testing the different water flows possibilities right now. So I think we want to go back this one by seven because we want the water to flow down, right? You know what, actually, uh, well, we can keep turning with this, I think. Maybe do two more turns. I think I want to go back by eight with this one also, and then just put down a new water spring, because that way we're gaining one more block per level of water. Um, so this is... I already lost count. Uh, so that's, I hope that's right. We're just going to keep going. I assume it's correct. Seven, eight, and... Eight, nine? Nine? Because we want the eighth one to be like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So I think this is going to be good. Um, it's gonna be a roughly over there. God, my, my brain is behind today. Uh, roughly in that spot, I guess, that we're gonna put the sugarcane farm. And it'll be, it'll be big. So I'm thinking maybe put like some wooden stilts going up it. Uh, that way it's not just magically floating and it'll look sort of like some tribal, um, bamboo looking sort of structure, I think. If we use lots of fences and canes on the inside. So, um, I'm pretty excited about that. I think it'll end up looking really good. Uh, it's just going to be a matter of getting all of the, the, the water channels set up first so that we know what we're building around. I think we're pretty much as far... No, I guess we could go this far. So, it's going to be centered roughly right there. So, one, two, three, four. So it's going to be centered roughly right there, and then it's going to go up as far up as we're standing right now. Uh, we want all of the water to flow into this channel, so pull you up, because you're going to be the end here. And then you will be a wall, and then all of this is going to go straight back for a while. Actually, this might be a little overkill on this side. I'll probably start right about here, actually. That way we can go back a decent distance here without running into the, the ocean or the, the side of the, the milk and shores. So none of you need to be there. Uh, you do need to be here, actually. Well, eh, we could have just this one, this one spring 
start and then drop down a little sooner on that one. That's not going to be a problem. But what we do need to do is go straight back right here uh, because we want all the sugar cane, all the water that flows it into the channel to be on the same level. Uh, darn it. So this is going to be one sheer wall and it's probably going to stop roughly around here. So make sure to get rid of you. And then you're going to be going up by a lot. Uh, and then we need to fill all of this in. And now that that wall is all filled in, we need to grab ourselves a few more pieces of dirt and do this, because this is going to need to go back by eight, I believe. Um, yeah, because with how wide this thing is, we only really need to have one, I don't know, layer of sugar cane. That's it. So this is just going to go back by eight, and that's going to pretty much conclude the layout, I think. And I actually don't even think I want it to be made out of dirt, now that I realize it. So now that we've got all this entire thing sort of figured out... Uh, man, that is... still can't get over it. That farm has come so far from episode one. Uh, we need to think about what we're going to... I think we're going to do all of this out of glass, because I do like having see-through tubes. And then, if we want to keep this sort of tribal looking, we may do a heavy food break. Nom, 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 A heavy hit to our wood supply. Um, and I think that'll be the best way to do it. I would like to do it with more wood colors, but that's just not realistic. I would need to travel a long ways to find a different type of tree. Um, because we don't have any birch or jungle or, um, 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 what do you call it? Wintery Christmas tree trees anywhere around this area, to my knowledge. So we'd have to do, like, another tree expedition, which I don't much feel like doing right now. But I think I will end this episode a little early. Uh, I try to keep them all between 25 to 28 minutes, but we're going to have to start pretty much an entirely new project by replacing all of that, or starting all of that with wood and stuff. So I think we'll call it for the day. Stay tuned tomorrow. I normally don't do Monday episodes unless I have to make up for missing an episode, which I did on Saturday. So keep an eye out tomorrow, and I will see you guys then. In the meantime, I got a whole bunch of wood to get.